From very early on, those that had the pleasure of seeing a young Lionel Messi with the ball at his feet knew they were watching a once in a lifetime talent. The relationship Lionel had with football is like nothing we've seen before. But just because he had once in a lifetime talent does not mean his path to what most regard as the greatest of all time in the biggest sport in the world was easy. In fact, some of the challenges he faced on his climb to the top of the mountain were so difficult, many thought it would be too much for him. But Messi, he was different. Even from a young age, he embodied stoic principles that would continue to guide him for the rest of his life. And when talking about a legacy like his, it's as much to do with these principles as it is about his talent. As there have been a lot of talented footballers, but not a lot of Lionel Messi's. We may not all have been born as a footballing prodigy, but what we do have control over is the way we overcome adversities and handle all the problems that plague footballers young and old. And it's especially goats like Messi who we should look to for inspiration. Chapter one, confronting early adversity. Many know Messi's famed two fingers up to the sky celebration, but few know the sad reason behind this iconic celebration. It is well documented that Messi was so shy when he was a kid that he was too scared of playing football with older relatives and family friends, despite his amazing talent. The person Messi thanked as responsible for pushing him out of his comfort zone and encouraging him to play was his grandmother Celia. Celia saw the potential in Messi and on top of her encouragement, she would also drive Messi to practices in the early morning. Celia was one of the biggest influences on Messi's young football career, but sadly passed away in 1998 when he was just 10 years old. This was a traumatic time for Lionel's family and especially Lionel, who at this point was definitely not the superstar we all know now. This was a pivotal moment in his life and thankfully for us, Messi used the ancient stoic wisdom to guide him through this time. Memento Mori is a phrase that ancient philosophers would remind themselves of regularly and it roughly translates to, remember you must die. Although this sounds very dark to be reminding yourself of, it's actually a very beautiful and calming thought. You see a lot of people just completely self-destruct when something bad happens to them and they constantly remind themselves of how terrible things are, which will obviously keep you unhappy. Memento Mori is all about reminding yourself of the concept of death, to keep you focused on the present and view everything as part of life's journey. Messi could have self-destructed and felt sorry for himself when a huge figure in his life passed away, but instead he did exactly what his grandmother would have wanted and doubled down on his footballing dream while using the energy of the loss to fuel him. To be stoic is not to be emotionless, but to be unaffected by emotion. Of course Messi was distraught and grieving the loss of his grandmother, but that doesn't mean it has to stay like that. And it also doesn't mean there can't be good that comes from that. And now, because of the key influence she played on his life, Celia is now a legend in world football and Messi reminds us of her influence on the very regular occasion when he scores and tributes her legacy. As many know, Messi had growth hormone deficiency when he was younger, a rare medical condition that caused him to be severely physically underdeveloped growing up. When signing to La Masia, the famous Barcelona academy, they discovered this condition and informed him that if he wanted to even be a normal sized human, he would need to go on medication and get daily injections of growth hormone. Once again, the kid who had the footballing world at his feet, having just signed to the most prestigious academy in the world, had a serious decision to make and another major obstacle in front of him. However, Lionel, even at 13, showed his mental toughness and more specifically the stoic principle of arete which roughly translates to excellence or virtue. Messi used the emotion of leaving to a foreign country by himself, being diagnosed with a serious health condition and the still fresh loss of his grandmother and channeled all this negative energy into his pursuit of excellence. The Stoics believe we have control over how we view challenges in our own life and have control over how we react to them. How many people have you seen completely give up on something as soon as they come across minor setbacks because they view the events in their life as the worst tragedy in the world and they have zero control over their emotions. We can't always control our emotions and be happy all the time when there are bad events happening in our lives, but we can control how we react to them. And Missy is a perfect example of using setbacks and obstacles as extra fuel and energy that he channeled fully into his pursuit of excellence. On the 24th of April 2017, Messi had one of the biggest games of his career in a late season El Clasico where Barcelona were three points behind league leaders Real Madrid. If Barcelona lost this game, their title hopes would surely be finished. Messi started out the game very strong and was threatening from the start. So much so that Casemiro had to tackle him from behind after being completely done at halfway, earning himself a yellow card 16 minutes in. 
Just a few minutes later, Messi copped an elbow from Marcelo to the mouth and his mouth would be bleeding for the rest of the game. Throughout the game, it was clear that Real Madrid were trying to stop him in any way possible, but Messi really got the chance to show his stoic principles in game. The Stoics say that to be stoic is not to be emotionless, but to stay unaffected by your emotions. Messi perfectly embodies that principle during this game, as he could have easily lost his cool and started complaining the whole game, but he stayed focused on what he could control, which was his personal performance. After conceding early, Messi brought it back with a spectacular play. Through a crazy game, it was 2-all going into the 92nd minute, which had been a grueling time for Messi. The Stoics talk about Amor Fati, which is love of fate, and this game seemed like fate. After being targeted the entire game and even being responsible for Ramos being sent off, Messi and Barcelona charged up the pitch to Sergi Roberto, who played it to Gomez, who neatly played it off to Alba, who cut it back to Messi on the edge of the box. Their season on the line, against their biggest rivals, with all he had to deal with during the game, and by no means an easy finish. It's easy to imagine a less stoic version of Messi could have skied this or completely missed the ball. But that's not Messi. He calmly slots it in and then does arguably his most famous celebration to top it off. This game was a perfect example of Messi's stoicism in action and how all of you can take this into your next game. No matter what the ref, the opposition or the crowd are saying, stay focused on what you can control and choose to love the fate of what happens. Chapter 2 Indifference to External Judgment in the age of social media and more people having a platform to share their opinion than ever before, Messi showed incredible indifference to external judgment. Messi by no means had the perfect career the whole way through. He got a red card within two minutes of his Argentina debut. He of course lost the World Cup final and missed a crucial game-tying free kick. He missed crucial penalties in the finals of back-to-back -back Copper Americas and didn't win an international trophy until 2021, 16 years after his debut for the national team. Because of this, Messi haters used these moments to ruthlessly bash him as he didn't give them much ammo. But when he did, they went hard. A man who didn't live by stoic principles would have been crushed by these moments, as having hundreds of millions of people criticizing you is something most of us will never experience. But I'm sure it's not pleasant. Whether it was the criticism or just the heartbreak of another international failure, Messi did retire from international football back in 2016, after yet another Copper America final defeat. However, after probably realizing he was acting out of emotion and had let external judgment get the best of him, he returned to his beloved country's team and the rest is history. A Copper America and a World Cup later, Messi is now remembered as an Argentinian great, something he may not have been regarded as if he let external judgment get to him during his lows. In fact, during the magical 2022 World Cup run, it seemed like Messi harnessed all of the energy of people saying he couldn't do it and turned it into one of the best World Cup runs we've ever seen from a player. It seemed like destiny for Argentina to win that trophy and Messi was at the heart of it. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video and want to dominate on the pitch and be a stoic baller like Messi, I've just spent the last week creating a free guide on how to practically implement the power of stoicism into your life. It's called a Stoic Footballer's Daily Routine. This is only for the serious action takers, so if that's you, click the first link in the description. There's no catch, I just want you guys to actually get results and improve unlike these other YouTubers who just want you to binge watch their videos and stay addicted to consuming content. Anyway, for those of you interested, first link in the description and that leads us on to chapter three, simplicity amidst triumph. Despite being one of the most famous people in the world, Messi is known for having a very simple down to earth lifestyle. Yes, he may have a nice house and a nice car, but compared to what so many other athletes would do in his position, he is incredibly grounded. If you check Messi's Instagram, you will see football photos, family photos, sponsorship photos, and that's about it. He doesn't feel the need to flex personal belongings or the events he has access to. Instead, he focuses on the things that matter to him, his career and his family. Both Messi and the Stoics know that all the material possessions in the world mean nothing without a career you're passionate about and a loving family who you would do anything for. Placing value on material possessions will set you on the hedonic treadmill where nothing can ever be enough and it leads to extreme sadness. This is the reason so many celebrities are depressed as they believe once they get X material possession, they will finally be happy and it couldn't be further from the truth. There will always be another thing that you want and it's much better to just abandon the pursuit of them immediately and return focus on what really matters in your life. When you combine success, love, and having no need for anything external, you have a very dangerous man, and that is hard to beat. 
and that's exactly who Lionel Messi is. When looking at a career like Messi's, it's easy to think with his talent and skill level that he was destined to be the GOAT regardless of his mental game. But I personally strongly disagree with that and I hope this video has been able to show you why. Going through challenges and having to overcome obstacles is going to be a prevalent theme in everyone's life. And Messi's was no different. For someone who was so clearly born to play football at the highest level we've ever seen, Messi still had some massive obstacles to overcome where less stoic footballers would have crumbled. Stoicism is not just a powerful philosophy to help you live the kind of life you want to live, but I believe it is an essential skill for anyone who is trying to achieve something great, no matter what field they're in. And I hope this video has shown that it was essential even for the ultimate top baller.